invited to this, this Maruma Festival this year, 2010, in Minnesota by uh, Fernando Men uh, Menzo, so thanks so much to him. But uh, um, after the festival, I got several offers from several companies to would you like a sponsorship and things, and one of those being uh, Majestic. And quickly after meeting everyone and talking with everyone, uh, it just came, became very clear that, okay, these guys are going to work very hard for me. It's been a great company to endorse. Yeah, I, 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 hope, I hope more people, uh, people see that. Aside from great instruments, it's also a, a company that really cares about music and, and cares about education and cares about the artists. So it's, it's, really been, it's really been great. Um, I've, been, um, I've got some master classes set up for Radford University and Marshall University. I'm going to uh, my old school, Utah State, to give a concert here in about a week. And I just got back from University of Delaware uh, and gave a concert and some lessons there. I mean, it's absolutely necessary with the way education is right now. Uh, it's just, there's no other way I could do what I'm trying to do, going and playing concerts. And, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I wouldn't even dream of applying to, to, to PASIC, to play at PASIC without y'all's support and without sponsor support and uh, going out doing master classes and doing clinics. Uh, yeah, it's just absolutely necessary to have a uh, sponsorship like this. I've, uh, I've not been able to write for Five Octave for about a year and a half now or so because of uh, my, my new school, the school that hired me. Uh, they only had a traditional low A, so I've been, uh, been writing all this low A repertoire out there. Um, which is, which is also good, I mean, it teaches me to write in a new way, but I'm real excited to get back to just writing for the, the, full, the full range of the instruments. So yeah, a few new marimba solos underway, uh, a few commissions for percussion ensembles, uh, one from uh, Texas Christian University, one from uh, Utah State University also. Uh, just finished a percussion quartet called Ouija for Harvey Price at uh, the University of Delaware, which they premiered just uh, about, a, about a, four days ago, real recently. Uh, they did a fantastic job. It's a you know it's a challenging piece, and those guys just yeah they they ate it up. And was, uh, I was really proud of it. It's, uh, it's so rare a premiere goes like flawlessly, you know. It just it just went great. So yeah, I guess that's the reason it happened. It was it was really a great experience. For someone who's interested in comparing marimbas, for one thing, because you have all the marimbas there at once in the same hall, you've got the same acoustical considerations, and you've got all these different players and, and all these things, and it was just really great to have my, my good friends who I trust, you know, I trust their ears, uh, out in the audience listening to this marimba and telling me, you know, what they thought, how it sounded. Like, I, it's, I mean, it's especially amazing, it's only two years old and it's so refined, it's up there competing with everyone else. Uh, just very, very well, and not only that, but I mean, it just—it just, it sounds fantastic. It sounds great. I, uh, I, I let I let my friend play it, and I, I stood back, and it, I mean, it's like it, uh, it the, the sound just dives down through the floor and comes out underneath, and I mean, it just has that. It feels like there's a subwoofer built into it or something. Like there's just some, some something extra that's there that comes through the the ground. You know, I'm just thrilled about it.